Welcome to the LCMS validation course lab session. Today we'll see how to carry out trueness evaluation in practice. We are considering the analysis of diabendazole in tomatoes and we will uh, estimate process efficiency but also recovery and matrix effect separately. We can see that to evaluate all these three parameters we need three kinds of samples. We need the samples that have been spiked with our analyte diabendazole uh, with, um, uh, before we have started the sample preparation. We also need the samples where the blank tomato has been extracted and this extract has been spiked with diabendazole. This means the post-extraction um, samples. And also we need the standards that have been prepared in the solvent. Here we have already ready the blank homogenized tomato sample and we will start with spiking this sample. Before we can actually carry out the sample uh, spiking we should consider at what concentrations we are going to do this spiking. Previously we have established that the working range of our method is from 1 ppm to 1 ppb and therefore we are going to do the spiking on three concentration levels the high, medium and low meaning 0.5 ppm, 0.05 ppm and 5 ppb So now we have prepared the pre-extraction spiked samples. But we also need to prepare the post-extraction samples that we need for evaluation of the recovery and matrix effect. And therefore I have ready the blank tomato extract that we will spike with our analyte in the same concentrations as we used for spiking before the extraction. We also need to prepare the standards in solvent. So we'll also prepare a range of calibration solutions that are prepared in the solvent. So now when we have all three types of samples ready, we can start analyzing these samples with LCMS. 